Yoo-hoo, it's Luhu. I'm Cindy Yun. I'm the designer behind Luhu Stitches, and this is Floss Tube in 15 minutes. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to show you a new release. It actually was released last week, but um, I only showed you, I only talked about uh, the little fall fling stuff. So today, I'm going to show you this. Now, this isn't a totally and completely new release. This was in last year's um, December issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine, but the rights have reverted to me. <laughs> and this is now available from Luhu Stitches. So you can find this on my website, luhustitches.com, at my Etsy shop, Luhu Stitches. You can also um, ask your local needlework shop about it and they can obtain it through Hoffman Distributing or Yarn Tree. So there you go. Do, 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 do. So it's a little bird. Um, this is a Thomas Tusser verse. Um, when I found the verse in what I thought was a reliable poetry book, I, it was not attributed. And then uh, Just Cross Stitch did some hard work <laughs> and found some attribution. And Thomas Tusser's the man. But it says, sing hey, sing hey for Christmas day, twine mistletoe and holly for friendship glows and winter snows. And so let's all be jolly. And we've got a little red bird. I chose not to do a cardinal because uh, everybody does a cardinal. And now I don't remember what this little red bird was. It was an unusual variety, but it's a small red bird with brown wings. And if I can figure it out, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what it is in the, in, in the future. <laughs> but it's cute and it's, you know, there you go. <laughs> so I stitched this on my favorite linen. Who knows what my favorite linen is? Yes, raw cashel linen, 28 count. And there is a combination of Gentle Arts, Classic Colorworks. I don't think there's any weeks. I can't quite remember. And some DMC. And a Rainbow Gallery. Um, his beak is black and so are his feet. And that is Rainbow Gallery Splendor Silk Black. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the stash dive because that went really fast didn't it last week? And one of the first things I want to show you is I got this out um, yesterday because my daughter was here and she was looking, we were just hanging out and I had stitching to do and she was kind of looking for something crafty to do. And I said, hey, cause she's just recently married. So she's getting, you know, holiday-y things together. I said, why don't you go through this and see if you can find something? So she found some cute felt things to do a um, 12 days of Christmas type of thing and she's doing an advent calendar with some felt with felt she's doing an advent calendar with felt anyway when she's done maybe I'll put up a picture I don't know when she'll be done the cute cross stitchy thing I found in here and this is um, McCall's Christmas make it ideas and this is from 1971 this was my mom's um, Anyway, was doing cross stitch on gingham. Now, you can tell this is 1971 because the photo, you know, the picture's not in color. <laughs> anyway, they have a whole set where you have a little tablecloth and an apron and a little uh, hot pad. And they give the uh, pattern here. Doo -doo -doo. And they tell you, they even tell you like get, I'm um, getting them that is eight squares to the inch. So, and then you use the squares like you would anything else. So, you know, any other even weave type of fabric. So I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, that's the first part of the staff side. Ancient magazine. <laughs> it feels ancient, doesn't it? You were a kid in the 70s. There's some other cute stuff. Like, I totally love this. Can you see that? I totally love that. That whole pink and orange and fuchsia and the bright green. 
I love that. I might have to make it. Okay, actual stash type now. All right, so next on my pile is this Prairie Schooler Rabbit Run, and this is the actual cardboard. Uh, not really cardboard, it's a card stock. But it's Rabbit Run, it's really cute. I can't remember where I saw it first and decided I had to have it. And I don't remember where I found it. I think it was in an Etsy shop, but someday. I, ha I do have a Prairie Schoolers thing going. Um, the next thing is another little bird, and this is from the Little Stitcher, and she's on Etsy. And she has a whole series of these, a monthly series. So this is actually blue, but uh, July. Blue chaffinch, chaffinch? Chaffinch, it's a type of finch, obviously. Really cute, just adorable. Okay, and then Sue Hillis. I don't know if you're watching Sue, but I love this. Anyway, Sue Hillis, and it says, these are a few of my favorite things. So she has this whole big piece inside and then she you can take different motifs and make individual ornaments with them. And it's just adorable. Really, really cute. So now this, this is from Imaginating and the designer is Diane Arthurs and it's called Spring Welcome. So the picture on the front it's kind of like they've got a close-up picture right here and then the long, it's a long piece. I got this quite a while ago, um, but it's really cute and I never started it. I love all that spring stuff. Um, the next is a Satsuma Street. Now I bought this as a PDF download from her site on Etsy and it is Verano her summer sampler, I guess you'd call it. Just love, I love her, her style. I really do. I love her too. She's really sweet. <laughs> um, next is Waxing Moon Designs. And this is, um, this is like a real photograph on here, but it's really cute. It's called Spring Stack. And so you got a bunny and the gardener and looks like there's a kite and a butterfly and a nest and it's really cute. Okay, Cricut collection. Some Easter egg stuff. I really like this one right here. And then of course, I love the pansy one. They're all really cute because now I see this one with the house and then the bunny and this is cute too. I don't know when I'm gonna do these, but I like them and I have to, you know what the deal is? I have the pattern. Should I ever have the time and the energy to add one more whip to my already large whip supply? Um, by the way, if you hear some funny noises in the background, like a dog scratching, that's because there's a dog in the background scratching. That's my dog. He may join us, I don't know. <laughs> All right, another Prairie Schooler, June. My birthday is in June, and that's why I had to get this one. I really enjoy this. I, for some reason, I like small motifs, and I like it when they're put together like this. And there's something to me when I'm stitching that is that really holds my interest because it's like a mini finish within a larger finish when you have smaller motifs like that. I try to kind of design that way, but I don't always accomplish that. <laughs> okay, so this is from Bobby G Designs. It's not one that I hear about a lot. It's one that my mother had gotten. She was a tea drinker and um, all of this, all of this, uh, <laughs> all of this is stitched. This is not like a background fabric. This is like all stitched. I don't know if I'd have the patience to do this entire thing, but I could totally do one of these guys. 
like this one maybe. Really cute. Um, my mom really liked Bobby G designs, so there may be more. Okay, this is another of my mom's, my mom's. I don't think I've ever did this one, but it's kind of cute. It's a piggy in a garden with a ducky. My mother loved cute. She really did. And this is a kit, so it has all the threads. And, and it looks like 14 count Ada included with it. So this is from Design Works. Um, and it's just called Farm Friends. I don't know much about Design Works. Okay, from Sue Dreamer is a booklet. This was produced by Leisure Arts. I was gonna say, I think this is a Leisure Arts book, and it is. And there's all kinds of fun um, pieces in here with fun sayings. So this is, it's not getting what you want. It's wanting what you have. Pity pieces of wisdom. Uh, the back one says, no people feel closer or more friendly than those, <laughs> those on the same diet. My husband and I just went on Weight Watchers <laughs> and uh, it is improving our relationship, I must say. Um, new shoes cure the blues. I'm not going to be able to show you everything in this book because it's interspersed with actual uh, charts. So, but those are three of them, Sue Dreamer. Um, okay, this is a vintage piece called The Linen Cupboard. My mother got it from Placerville Yarn, which is no longer in business. <laughs> and it's from Charted, Charted Designers of America. So it's just a, a pegboard, cardboard piece that's full of motifs that you can put on towels or bread cloths or like there's a um, pot holder anyway so very 80s you know mauve and country blue <laughs> here's another um, American School of Needlework so these are all borders floral borders it's a booklet that. Um, I think there's some more borders on this side. Very intricate designs. Very pretty. Okay, this is another one of my mom's. And she she did one out of it that said, Bloom where you're planted. So there's just all kinds of these little pieces in it. I'm not going to go through it, each and every one. Um, but these are fun to buy. You know, if you want to do a quick gift for someone, this is from the Cooler Design Studio. Um, you know, it's like most of them are 50 by 50. You know, they're nothing very big. Sometimes it's like a lot of back stitching, and back stitching can go really quickly. So if you want to make a quick gift for someone, you can do that. Um, if you can put up with my dog scratching and my cat scratching at the door for just a couple minutes, we're almost at 15 minutes. <laughs> anyway, here's another one from Dale Burdett. I don't know much about Dale Burdett, um, but this was an anchor, um, as an anchor floss. This was a booklet that they put out, but these are all like quilt motifs, little quilty. I like this one with the cat. I've actually thought about doing this one with the cat and maybe changing up the colors a little bit to something more. Well, like here's the same one with a different uh, colorway. So really cute. I, well, there it is. I think they're all the same on the front and the back, just different kind of shots of them. All right, Dale Burdett. So this is, uh, you know, it's only four bucks. So you know that this was produced a while back. Okay, sampler of bees from the City Stitcher. This was sent to me by a viewer way back when. And one of these days, I'm gonna sit down and do it. Could we live without the bee to fill each hive with sweet honey? I don't think we could. Watch the bee movie. It's kind of silly and sarcastic because it's uh, Seinfeld, but <laughs> you will learn quickly. You can't live without the bee. All right, we're at 15 minutes. That was a little more of my stash. 
and I hope you enjoyed this. And if so, say something below. Um, I would love it if you have questions um, that you think could be a part of part of a 15 minute floss tube or might even be all of a floss tube in 15. Write those down below. I really would love some suggestions about things that you are interested in. Um, any questions that you have, I'd be happy to try and answer to the best of my ability. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. Um, say hi down below uh, and happy stitching.